We were for the summer in Arosa. There used to be a fine coastal hotel. It's no more. They, I think they have only apartments there. I, any of it. I hear suddenly that in the world are 45 survivors from Hitler's hell. We arrived there on Monday and I said to my wife, I'm going tomorrow to the world. Are you not that tired from New York? I said, my conscience troubles me. I came there and I found 40, 45 people, beautiful colors, the sun. And the doctor said to me, Rabbi, don't be fool. Their lungs are no good. Well, I come there and they say to me, would you make a theum and bachauros for us? I said, I'd be glad to. And then I said opposite them, and suddenly I felt like a criminal. I had been living in comfort in New York, and they had gone through Gehinnom. So I said, oh yes, and the doctor did the foolish thing to introduce me. Professor Young, Dr. Young, and I said, it's not true, I'm Brother Young. Tell me what I can do for you. The head of the group was Chaim Rafael Horowitz. I tell you deliberately the name. He said, well, during the five years in Buchenwald and the Nazarene, it was forbidden by penalty of death to have a Hebrew book to be caught as a minion. As a matter of fact, one horse had extraordinary courage. He tied the children out of his body. Could you send us Tanakh, Mishnaya, perhaps some Gomorrah? I said, I don't promise anything. I'm going back this afternoon to Arosa. I am cabling my secretary to go downtown and send you this book. Oh. Next morning, we are at breakfast, and in Switzerland, just like New York, if you mail something at 4 o'clock, next morning and next place. Here I got the other day a letter after 13 days. So I get the letter. And I began to read it. My wife sits where he sits opposite me. Suddenly she says, what's the matter with you? You're white in your face. I said, all right, I'll read it to you. Heimer Foyle Horowitz writes, it was wonderful meeting you at that time of the young rabbi, relatively. Young rabbi telling us he's not a professor, not a doctor, not a rabbi, but a brother. It's wonderful that you promised us a book and that you say you're catering for it. But I ought to tell you something. During the five years when we suffered incredible physical and emotional tortures, none of us ever opened his mouth against the Kodosh But our hearts were very bitter. Therefore, we don't deserve those sacred books. Please send us Musa's orin that we may find our way back to our village of Ashomai. Then my wife changed her face. We were there for three weeks. I said, if you don't mind, my dear, I'm going back once more. I want to say goodbye to them. I went back and uh, they were not in. I ran after in the direction they told me and I Caught up to them, I took hands with every one of them, which we were for, Sulaim, Sholam, Roth, until I came to one man with his hands in his pocket, I wouldn't offer them. So I said to my neighbor, did I ask for Khalil or say something to hurt him? He said, oh no, no. He can't move his hands anymore. His sickness. And Chaim Rafoy Horowitz preached him, as a nurse treats a four-week-old baby, cleans him, washes him, and feeds him. Then I said to myself, meet the umpire you saw in Soy Echel I'm so proud when I think of it. I've seen misery. I've seen scoundrels. But when I think of how these men reacted, all has been through hell, all has been through tortures, all might have been hopeless, egotist. That's how they react.